Fight stress with healthy eating. Whenever we get too busy or stressed, we all tend to make poor food choices that will actually increase stress and cause other problems. To get the most of your healthy eating and avoid stress, follow these simple tips. Always eat breakfast. Even though you may think you aren't hungry, you need to eat something. Skipping breakfast makes it harder to maintain the proper blood and sugar levels during the day, so you should always eat something. Carry a snack. Keeping some protein-rich snacks in your car, office, or pocketbook will help you avoid blood sugar level dips, the accompanying mood swings, and the fatigue. Trail mix, granola bars, and energy bars all have the nutrients you need. Healthy munchies. If you like to munch when you're stressed out, you can replace chips or other non-healthy foods with carrot sticks, celery sticks, or even sunflower seeds. Bring your lunch. Even if you only do this a few times a week, you'll see a much better improvement over eating out. Stock your home. As important as it is to get the bad food out of your house, it's even more important to get the good food in. The best way to do this is to plan a menu of healthy meals at snacks at the beginning of the week, list the ingredients you need, then go shop for it. This way, you'll know what you want when you need it and you won't have to stress over what to eat. Healthy breakfast ideas. A lot of studies and research has shown that kids who eat breakfast perform better in school and have a healthier diet. Eating breakfast will help promote the proper growth and maximize school performance as well. Breakfast is oftentimes a victim of the morning time crunch. Even though you may be tempted to skip breakfast, you can simplify your morning routine by following these 8 tips. 1. Finish homework and pack school bags at night. 2. Decide on what your children will wear to school before you go to bed and locate lost shoes for the following day. Dot. In the morning, get up 15 minutes earlier. 4. Give up computer games and morning television. 5. Have healthy foods on hand. You should also shop for breakfast foods with your kids and take into account their personal preferences. 6. Set the cereal out the night before. For younger children, fill a zippered plastic bag with her portion, then add the milk in the morning. 7. Allow your children to use the microwave often, as most breakfast foods can be prepared in under 5 minutes. 8. Allow your kids to eat in the car or on the way to school. There are several foods that you can eat for breakfast, even leftovers from supper if they are sufficient. You can eat bagels, pizza with fruit juice, pretzels, or the normal bacon and eggs that breakfast is known for. Most foods are a snap to prepare, and won't take you but a few minutes. The next time you are in a hurry in the morning, remember that you are probably about to skip the most important meal of the day. If you follow the tips above, you'll find that you have plenty of time for breakfast. Healthy Fat Intake This information is aimed at helping you to reduce your fat intake. The average individual eats too much fat, a factor that's linked to a variety of health problems, including cancer. 
Diets that are high in fat are associated with breast and colon cancer, with some studies linking high fat to prostate cancer as well. Nowadays, it's getting easier and easier to control the amount of fat you consume. The fat content of foods are now available through the nutrition label and through brochures distributed by food companies and even fast food restaurants. You can use this information on nutrition to choose lower fat foods by comparing products and food brands. Once you have a rough idea of what a healthy intake of fat is, you'll know what you can and what you can't have. From day to day, the amount of fat you eat will vary. Some meals and some days will be higher in fat than others. Even high fat meals can be kept in line with healthy eating as long as you balance those days accordingly. The average fat intake over the course of weeks and months is important, not the fat intake of every meal and food you consume. Younger adults and high active adults who have higher calorie needs can probably eat a little more fat. Older adults and those that aren't very active should aim for a lower fat intake. This way, you can control your fat intake and avoid the many problems that fat is associated with. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.